You were on it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I thought this serves the best. Oh, yeah. So you've got to show her, show her. That you're not like oh, all the rest. It's a bad time. That you put your cards back on the table. Gentlemen, how are you? We're great. Thanks for having us. So your album came out on Tuesday. It is your sixth studio album. That's right. And I've heard there have been reports that there was a little bit more tension on this album than on previous albums. Sure. A little more tension. Yeah, you know, we are, this year, our band's 21 years old. So right. I think there's something about fate looks at you at 20 years and it just kind of says, hey, I'm going to, you know. Make Are you sure about that? And, I mean, when we came off into making this record, we'd been going nonstop for you know, at least a couple years on tour. And yeah, there's, there's no uh, hiding the fact that we had kind of a, a little bit of a crash, you know, internally. Honestly, it's probably the first time our band has actually had to say, like, are we going to do another record? And one of, the, one of the things I think that came out of that was um, just really prioritizing, you know, okay, what are, what's the, what are the most important things about what we do as a band? And, and the time, you know, pausing on writing really, I think, when we came back together to make music, it brought something intangible into the music. There's, a, yeah. there's an intensity, there's a kind of a, a punchiness, and I don't, know if it's that, I don't know if it's that we were fighting, you know, <laughs> but, but there is some fight in the record. Yeah. And, and I think, to some degree, it, it, um, it informed the whole attitude and the, the energy of, of the way we chose to record it and, and ultimately what came out in, in Anthem. Without a second love, you got me on your hook. I've never felt like that. Give me a heart attack. I can't recall. You're not like the others. It doesn't matter where I stop. You begin to go. also own all of your own properties. You own your music. You guys are, are entrepreneurs. You have coffee and beer and chocolate. And We're busy. How did that inform the music? Did you ever take a step back and say, oh, wait, we have to look out for the company versus the music? Well, I mean, when we started the label, we've, we've run our own label for 10 years. And right. there's a lot of people that have been independent. And independence means a lot of things to different people. Some people, independent means indie rock, which means a sound. But to us, when we went independent, our choice was not about kind of going off the rails or, or becoming something different. It was always about keeping the course. And I think that there are inherent things that are not often talked about in music, which is that there is a lot of entrepreneurism in music itself. I mean, you have to be willing to go out there and put yourself on the line night after night. And it, as a band, especially when you're starting out, I mean, that's going and playing bars and playing music festivals and doing all those kind of things. And so on some level or another, entrepreneurism is a natural step as a band. But I think a lot of times, you know, that... It gets lost in the shuffle to a degree, and for us, it's just always kind of been a part of the DNA of our it's band. necessary evil, I exactly. think, to do the music <laughs> yeah. for us. Yeah. You brought up the bottom line. Let's <clears throat> talk about yeah. the bottom line. Yes. How How's the company, how are the companies looking? I mean, you're just about to launch beer. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. that's an expensive endeavor. It takes endeavor. an investment. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not going to go into direct numbers, but I mean, the thing about our business from the beginning is we... We did choose to invest in. We never bought Ferraris. We never, you know, bought yachts or crazy stuff. We had success, yeah. but we literally looked at, you know, one another and said, either we, whether we, we wait for this other massive corporation to kind of crumble and call us when we can make an album, or we leave and start taking that kind of risk on the front end. I really genuinely believe in the model we've we've kind of been the guinea pigs for, which is that artists in the future really are the the, the center of their business. They, they, the, the idea of these old form, these old models where an artist goes and they say, I'm going to sign a deal to this big corporation, they're going to kind of take a piece of everything, which now they really are doing, 360 deals, which is what happens with fans, um, and, and then gonna, and gonna, they're going to lock me up for 20 years. The thing is most now corporations, they're too afraid to really take the risk on artists anyway. Artists should be controlling their brand 
and then making partnerships as they go through through each cycle. And that's really what what we've done. The only difference with us is we've also kind of we've sort of staffed up a little bit. And when you talk about launching a beer, it's not about trying to become this multinational you know, corporation. It's really about be, being a brand, you know, like a smart yeah. brand that says, look, we know who our fans are. We love our fans. They love what we do. How do we, we just love these things. how do we build like how do we build a community around them? You know, and make them feel like they're a part of something. And so if that means we love coffee and every Christmas we're gonna roast a coffee that is a limited batch, or let's do a Hanson Monopoly you know, themed game, or let's do cool merchandise, or let's brew beer. It it's only just about extending the idea that you have a relationship. I mean, if you've followed the band, you know, we're probably around the same age. We grew up, you know, culturally seeing things happen and change. We wanna go like, what are you into? Like is there something we share that's not just music? So, what for you in in kind of getting ready to to promote this album? I mean, you've already been promoting it, but really kind of gearing up for mm. it. You guys are all on one bus, and you can have a, <laughs> you could have a fleet of ten buses. Why is that important? I mean, you grew up together, you're brothers, you play together, you own a business sure. together. Sure. Well, I think I think that's just <laughs> partly about making smart choices. I mean, if you can fit on one bus, why have four buses when it makes financial sense? Because you can take more risk if you don't spend the extra money on staffing up with a bunch of bus drivers and a bunch of buses and a bunch of gas. And it just, that could be the difference in another project you can invest in. Where do you want your music to go from here? This was a big transition for you guys. Mm -hmm. What are you looking to do next? Do you play something like 20 instruments combined? <laughs> <laughs> well, Where mean, are you no, going next? The, the thing about it, I mean, it's, it, it's gratifying to think that we've done a lot. I mean, I'm 30 years old, we've been a band for 21 years, right? I started when I was a kid. We've toured the world, we've gotten to do incredible things. Um, we would be, it would be fair if, if fate said, you guys are done, let another band have the chance to sell a lot of records. There's so many great artists out there. But for us, the idea of what, what could be done is there's so many things that we want to do. I mean, we, we feel like we're just getting started. And I think that's probably the thing that made sure this album had to happen, which was, it wasn't a matter of we're 20 years in, gosh, it's been good. We all look, came back to making a record and said, God, we're just getting started. We're a better band now than we ever were. And we feel like we're making our best music. And what's really amazing to, to me is we have this, this strange possibility of, of starting completely over with a whole new group of younger fans because, because we're seeing them every Because year. we're seeing them discover yeah. the new record. And, and, and it's yeah. the people we admire most, like the artists we admire most, those are the people that when you go to their show, you, you see a 50-year-old and a 10-year-old and an 18-year-old. And, and it's, not, it's not to be cheesy about it. It's like everybody should just hug, you know. But it's that music, if you stick through it and long enough, if you're stubborn enough, I think, and you keep putting out music that you're really passionate about, I think you have a shot at having that that audience look that way and and that's what we want to see I've been thinking about something I